Live from San Antonio, Texas, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. Ah, well, well, well. The uh, work week is here. (laughs) Yo, what is going on? I'm not going to be able to. I, I need to try not to laugh too much today. Put that, that thing is toward so the bad. camera. Look how bad that looks on camera. God. Put it toward dude. the camera. Turn your face toward the camera. Let me see uh, that thing. Like that. Mike. I see. You know you're gonna. Here re- it is. Should we just get to this? That's just. It, it's obvious. Your your mic's kind of low. Put that mic closer. Oh to your my mouth. bad. How how's that, LG? My bad, dude. How's that? Is that a little better? Yeah. I yes. So I actually got hit on the side of the face. By a so truck. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it went all the way. Like it, it's a full blown shiner. This is probably the worst shiner I've ever had, and I've had some dude, good. You're, ones. Dude, you, you're gonna have this for the barbecue. That's not going I don't, away. Yeah, well, and it's gonna be worse tomorrow. I think it's gonna be worse tomorrow because this is oh, one it's of those gonna be real, close shut. It's one of those real bad ones that winds up turning like purple and yellow and red and shit. Dude, it's I don't I mean I, we wouldn't we didn't have a show I probably should go get looked at. It hurts. It hurts. I popped like well, this happened earlier said today. That, if you would have said that, we could have not done it. You could have. Well, gone I, to the see, at first I thought it would be funny, but then as we as the night's gone on, it certainly hurt. And you're already ready to do a show, so I'm like, well, hell, let's just. I'm not gonna go to the. If I go to, but I'm gonna get through the night and see how it feels uh, tomorrow. So that's where we are, dude. We've got big announcements today. I'm ruining the start of the work week, man. And the, you're right. The barbecue <laughs> is on Saturday. I, maybe it'll be faded some by then. I was really glad. Oh, maybe I probably should be doing this in shades. <laughs> she feels so bad. Does she do it? <sighs> yeah. Well, should we just do it? Okay. Let's just get into it. it uh, we got Dude, two nobody big announcements. Can, I can't here. concentrate. I can't concentrate till I know what happened. It's uh, we've got two big announcements today. I'm also sunburned. Mike, Mike, I'm starting to. I got real sunburn over the weekend too. I'm all pe- I'm starting to peel. Not good, man. So uh, we got two announcements today. Rudy's in Valdosta, Georgia, until what? When do you leave? Thursday or Wednesday? Thursday. Okay. I'll be back in San Antonio Thursday at 10 a.m. I'm on ibuprofen and beer, hoping that hoping the that will help me sleep and the pain will go away. So, Rudy's overseas in Valdosta, <laughs> yeah. Georgia. Might as well be, dude. Might as well be. I was gonna go over to LG's, but after this happened, I'm like, I don't really want to drive because I feel shitty. All right, so <sighs> I don't even. Know. It's just stupid because I'm gonna I tell you all the story. You're not gonna believe me, but it's the truth. That's what makes it ridiculous. Like, I wish I'd hit a dude. door. Dude, it's so bad. Look how bad it is what on the... camera. God almighty. Dude, so bad. So how long ridiculous. ago did this happen? How long ago uh, did this happen? Let's see. Um, oh, it's this, mor- or this morning, like before lunch, you know, around 11, I guess. And it already looks like that? Yeah. Boy, it's gotten worse as the day's gone on, and that's why I'm. It's like no I'm actually, that's why it's weird. It's weirded me. I, it, it turned into a black guy, but it's like I got nailed in the side, right? Like, right, you know where the cheek? I don't want to touch it. It hurt me, like right here, like right on that tip of the cheekbone. So, Nina and I were outside throwing a baseball. <laughs> I was about to say, did you get hit by a foul ball? <laughs> Dude, okay, so so all right, so it's time. Let's just do. Let's just make it the punch of the day, the Orlando Kell punch of the day, the official family lawyer of this show. Mm-hmm. We were we were playing catch. Just you know, she, she's you mean it. She's five foot nothing, a buck nothing. So I'm just taking it easy. And she's like, "Babe, quit!" quit. She's like, she got pissed because I was kind of just kind of lobbing it. She's like throw it if you can throw it i know how to catch it and she she was she was pretty good she was catching it so i wouldn't like you know throwing like fast it's like but we're just playing catch you know just yeah. really catch. and she's probably like i don't know 20 30 feet maybe we're just lobbing you know and she started throwing it real hard because i was talking shit of course and we were doing bits about mike taylor jr second base mike and taylor it was fun. jr second base <laughs> and so 
she starts throwing it hard, like like as hard as her little arm can throw. And I'm like, damn, girl, that's pretty good. Right. Dude, and so I and I we were talking about with we were just talking, we're just talking. So I'm talking bullshit, blah blah blah. And I turned my head because to look at the na- my neighbor had come home. And I thought she had seen the name. She, I thought she knew I was looking at him. <laughs> She's in there in the hall, baby. This, no, that's how it happened. She's getting. <laughs> she feels bad. It was my fault. So, dude, why are you I, taking the blame? You don't have to take the blame. Because I dude. quit. Why? Because I went. I looked at the neighbor just to say, "Hey, dude, what's up?" You know, because we say hi to him all the time. And, uh, <laughs> and she just, she just rocketed one. And what are the odds she, cause she, she's not like, she's, you know, she's not like the former USA Olympian and she just My. nailed me, dude. It, and I, I turned my head and I thought, I thought she had seen him, but no, she, well, I guess I was, I guess right as I was turning, she was just not even looking. She just, cause she was talking to shit and you know, and I turned my head and she got me right in the, right on the tip of the cheekbone on the, like on the outer side. That's why I okay. can't believe it's so bad in the front now. It's like, because it was right here. We put ice on it. I can't believe it didn't bleed out. I thought it was going to bust the skin. She feels terrible. Hey, Mike. Okay. And it's all kidding gradually aside. getting black as the day went on. It's it's, it's, it's ridiculous, dude, dude. All kidding aside, bro. Mm-hmm. There's one of two things. Either you have, you, you, you concussed or your cheekbone could be cracked. It could be. Well, what you I do what understand you do that, about right? that. Yeah, I mean, what do you do about that though? Like, if I you can't have to do this, real bad overnight, I, I may have to go to emergency room, dude, on fucking Easter. <laughs> Holy, dude, that's a baseball. That could be bad. Yeah, she caught me. Dude. We were like thirty, maybe twenty something feet away, and she just she zinged it in there. So you punching feels- yourself, or are you punching her? Um, yeah, I'm, punching, I'm punching. I'm punching. I'm punching her for not for paying. Punch Nina Duran, my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. It's baby. It's fine. She feels so. She, <laughs> she feels very, very bad. And uh, well, punch Nina Duran of San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> I, I, I can't be like when I smile real big. It hurts. Um, for not dude. paying attention to me, not paying attention to hitting me in the face with the ball. It's it's ridiculous. Dude, that thing looks awful, Mike. It's bad. I ain't even trying to. I'm, I'm not turning even my face. To like, <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the show like this. How you boys dude, doing? Let's you, talk, how about those dookies? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I, I really thought I was like, oh, Mike's doing a bit when you first came on camera. Dude, I wish. It's stupid. I thought you had like face black on or something. <laughs> no, he better not. Have. Not I had black face, black but like conscience. athletic face oh. black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, like, had I. What? Fuck, had I had eye black on, I might have been able to see it. I don't, dude. It was, and it, I didn't even have my glove up. Like, it wasn't like I saw it last minute and like threw my glove up and then like skimmed off my glove. I was, and it, it, it caught me flush because I had my head turned to her. It just, boom, it almost, I thought I was going to pass out at first. I, dude, she, I think that's, a, did you, that's officially an error on the second baseman. Yes, E2, E4 all the way. She <laughs> nailed me. Baby, it really is okay. You know, I have to I have to make this. She's looking at me from the hall. I have to make it dramatic, baby. It's fine. I feel, dude, it's fine. She feels so bad. <laughs> hey. Uh. <laughs> Pretty great. God almighty. What a story. How stupid. Anyway, how's it? How's Atlanta? How's did, well? You did. You just like flew through and then went to Val. Are y'all gonna be able to do the show with me like this? Yeah. Okay. Because all right. Because yeah. I don't want it to distract our sport talk. <laughs> sport talk. <laughs> well, we talk sports. Nah. Yeah. I flew. I flew to um, from Vegas to Atlanta. Atlanta mm-hmm. to Vault. Whatever the hell Vault Dasta is. All you need okay. to know is is one That's airport. Stuff. The airports. There was one, it's an airport. There was only one flight into Valdosta today, and it was Valdosta. mine. Okay. All tiny, you need to know about jumper. this airport is parking is free. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, it takes 30 minutes to get an, it gets, it takes 30 minutes to get an Uber. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. I know. I, I don't know shit about the Georgia uh, geography. Yeah. Okay. That's like Neither. going from like, is, is it like, how long was the flight? From Vegas? No, three from, and Atlanta, a half. from Atlanta to Valdosta. Oh, 30 minutes. 
I was gonna say that's like that's like here to Houston. It's like San Antonio to Houston. Well, it's more cool. Dallas because it's a four hour drive. Because the production oh, team, okay. because of all, yeah, because the production team, because it's a small airport, they rented a car in Atlanta. Oh, okay. And just drove down oh, okay, to Boston. Yeah. They said it's gonna take four hours, so it's like Dallas. But it's close to Tallahassee. It's the tip of Georgia. It's like 90 minutes from Tallahassee. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Jesus, it's starting to itch. Sorry. <laughs> Bro, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm this? fine. Let's get through it. Oh, yeah, I see where yeah, you're like right on the Floridian border. Yeah. You're near Jacksonville and Jacksonville and Tennessee. And Tallahassee. Oh, you're close to Escambia, I think. Where's Escambia? What's Escambia? Oh, no, Pensacola. I mean. Oh, no, Pensacola's where uh, your doppelganger, Emmett Smith, is from. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, he, yeah, he's from, he's from the Floridian Panhandle. So you're down there in the, you're down there in uh, the, what do they call that? Uh, shit. What do they call that part of the, like, almost to the Redneck Riviera. Mm-hmm. Where the Floridian coast hugs the Gulf of Mexico. Like if you drove south probably an hour or so, you'd be in the uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm. All right, so tell them what gotcha. you're doing. What base are you at, dude? Let me see where the base is. Now, well, so first of all, Nellis okay. in Las Vegas was awesome. Got to hang out with some Thunderbirds. Y'all know who the Thunderbirds okay. are. They do the air shows. Hung out oh, with the right ELD. On. Okay. Hung out the ELD, which are the explosive dudes. They let me put on an 85-pound bomb suit. I those saw dudes that. Are bad that look, you look like a badass. Those dudes, yeah, those dudes are badasses. Like those are like you know. It, but anyway, so Las Vegas was a success. Now I'm at Moody Air Force Moody. Base in Valdosta, Georgia. Okay, Moody. Moody. M O O D Y. Okay, cool. Okay, so you're so, out, you're north of Valdosta. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So are you on base or are you in a hotel? No, you no, no. Base? I'm in a hotel. I'm at a okay, hotel cool. off base. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And I even right. got a patio. And I got a patio. So mm-hmm. as soon as we're done, I'm going to light one and go to bed. Okay. Oh, La, La Taqueria Mexican Grill is close to you if you wanted some tacos to fill it back at home. I don't know about tacos <laughs> in this area. <laughs> they got Mexicans there. Well, they got they got a Burger King near the commissary. <laughs> So yeah. how do you eat? Like, do y'all have lunch catered? I know we're not supposed to say a lot about what you're doing. This, this no, show. no, no, uh, yeah, like no. We eat. Car, we, how you do that? We eat on base. We eat on base. Most of the days I eat on like base. in the chow, like in the mess hall. No, no, no. Like okay. they have restaurants, like the um, exchange, like the exchange. They have like food courts and shit. I saw you post pictures of. I, 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 I messaged Rudy and I said, "That's that's oh. some white people shit." Walking around in a bomb suit. suit. Yeah, that's white people's shit. White people. (laughs) Only a white guy joins the bomb squad, you know? True, because white people just. There was only. Yeah, there wasn't any black guys on the bomb squad. No, white people join the bomb squad because, hey, I'm white. I'm entitled. I get to do whatever I want. I need to push the envelope. (laughs) I need. I need. We lose our sensory over. We we get. We get. We lose our sensories, our normal sensories, because we get to do everything we want, Rudy. Because we everywhere we go, mm. things just happen for us, and so it gets boring when you just get to do whatever you want all day long. So you need to do stupid shit like get in bomb suits, <laughs> try to distinguish bombs, and, and swim with sharks, and swim with sharks, and oh, go yeah, hot air ballooning sharks. over the Sierra Nevada mountain range, or do what Doc Garrett did one year. Doc Garrett did a bit one year. It's, it's some white ass people shit here. What he do? Doc Garrett with all his health nut buddies, because you know Doc Garrett's the most in shape man I've ever known. Me they too. started on one end of the Grand Canyon, and they had 24 hours to go down the canyon, down into the river, in the down at the bottom of the why, of the, and back up to the other side. They had in 24. You had you had to do it in 24. It was a competition. Did they do it? Yeah, yeah, they did it. But they 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 pitched a tent, I think, right down all the way to the bottom to take a break. They, they camped out for like four hours. Got their stuff and then hauled ass up the other side. I mean, who who does that? White people who are White rich people. and bored and they get to do everything they want, and so they need stimulus. They're not they can't just have regular yeah. stimulus like everybody else. Especially the rich wow. ones. They get to do what they want. Well, I did <laughs> I did see That looks so, so bad. I'm sorry, I'm distracting myself. I'm yeah, gonna do this while you talk. It looks it looks bad. But I did so when we went to get some footage of the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. Mm-hmm. I did run into one of those teams of like somebody that like did some cross country hike canoe yeah 
she was poor th- poor lady. She looked like she was down to like seventy nine pounds. <laughs> she was on like she was using these damn walking things. I was like, oh my shit, God, who wants dude. to who wants to do that? That's so. That's also white people shit. They get the yeah, walking she was, stick. She was white. She was white. Now let's go to REI and spend one hundred and fifty bucks on walking sticks that you don't need. <laughs> If you're right. climbing a mountain, you know, I mean, I guess, but God almighty. Anyway, how was your weekend, LG? What have you been doing, home squeeze? Working. Um, are we done with people I want to punch? What's going on here? Oh, my bad. I, 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 yeah, okay. Who, dude, anybody you need to punch, This dude is Rudy? concussed. No, no yeah. I've, been, I've drank a little bit because I'm trying to, I'm try, it's, it, it hurts. Who are you punching, LG? I want to punch the United States Post Office. Oh, okay, shit. let's look up the CEO of that. Okay. It's DeJoy, something, the Postmaster General. Oh, okay. Punch Postmaster General DeJoy. What did he do to your person? I went to my <clears> mailbox <throat> to get my that mail today. Drop. Yeah. And there was a little letter in there that said, vacant, do not deliver mail to this mailbox. In your <laughs> mailbox? Yeah. In your front yard? Well, I don't have the a mailbox US- in my front yard. I have a P.O. box that's down the street. Oh, okay. And a, the United States Postal Service put, do not give mail to this box. Because it's vacant. Why? This house is vacant. Why? How did they get that wrong? Your guess is as good as mine. I think Rudy, just Rudy blacked just out go? his camera. He, I think he, he oh, hit something. Oh, there we go. What'd you hit? Okay, cool. Oh, oh shit. Wait, yeah. So the do you, you, so how long has that been the case? Like how often do you check that box? Like once every two weeks. Oh my God! No telling what's been sent back. Did you call anybody? I know. Well, I'm expecting certain things that affect this company. Uh, and who okay. knows? So I got to go to the post office tomorrow and see if they have any held mail there. And oh tell my them, God! I still live here. I never moved away. I've been living here since 2020. Like what the fuck? And you know, did you notice today? Of course, it's Sunday. Yes, Easter. I went to check the mail oh today because I was I was I got an email from USAA, yeah, saying, "Hey, we noticed you haven't activated your new debit card." And I said, <laughs> "What new debit card?" <laughs> so I went to go look for it, and I, there's a notice in there. There's no mail in there, just one piece of paper that says "vacant." Please fill this out if you are a new resident at this address. Seriously, what's going oh, on? God. So I'm gonna punch the joy, <laughs> dude. That's fucking ridiculous. up the postal service. <gasps> Used to be a reliable service, and now it's a sh- shitty thing. I don't go there unless I just have to mail something huge. Because I, I can't much. think of the last time I went to the post you office. Wait in line. If I what I, I so I mail stuff to my kids on occasion, books, wacky socks, things that don't cost a lot. My kids in Hawaii. I've actually mailed my other kid in Fort Worth some, uh, like a birthday package, you know, jewelry and stuff. I go to FedEx um, near my house. Um, I just do. If I don't have oh, to go UPS. to the no, no, no offense to the USPS, no offense to the mail carriers of Thunderdome. Yeah. But I They've avoid going in there if I before. So yeah, I avoid I don't going them. in there. Mm-mm. But who knows? Hopefully, FedEx I get everything at easier. the post office tomorrow. Dude, we'll here's see. the other thing. Like the last time I went to the USPS, the guy was kind of a dick, you know. Like I don't know how to mail shit. I don't ma- I don't mail things often. I had <laughs> oh god, I can't laugh. It hurts. It, oh it really god, hurts. Um, so I went to the post office not long ago, actually. And I, I bought some little thermoses for my twins in Hawaii, and I knew it was probably going to cost me a decent amount of money to mail them. And so I went to the post office and I don't know why I just forgot about FedEx. So I went to the USPS and I get to the lines like, Hey, I asked the guy, can you help me? What do you think I should mail these? And he's like, I said, whatever you want to mail them in. Go, oh, well, I just want to make sure it's safe. Well, here are your options. And this is more expensive. And that's, and I'm like, well, what do you think I should put it in? He goes, well, we got a lot of things over there. I'm like, okay. So I went over to, I, so I got out of line, went over to the back of the room where they've got all the different like boxes and bags, like the different kind of things you mail stuff in. But I want to make yeah. sure I'm, these are little thermoses. <clears throat> I don't want them getting hurt. And I just got frustrated in there. You know, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this guy for not helping me. Tell me which box you think I should put these thermoses in. So I got pissed off and I went to, I went to FedEx and they, it was going to cost me too much money. That's I, 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 so I got to, I still haven't mailed those kids, the thermoses. I want to fight through the USPS, but the guy was a dick to me. 
because it's a little bit cheaper to mail like weighted things. But if I don't mm -hmm. have to use the USPS, I, I don't. That's on so. you there because they're not a packaging service. I know they're not. Hey, man, but you can give FedEx some customer service, me. LG. Shit. Whenever I use yeah, FedEx. FedEx has packaging services. Do. USPS does not. Right. They don't, but they can well, offer they shouldn't some have a lobby then. LG. Right. That's right. They shouldn't have <laughs> options in the back, like right? the, the different Dude, boxes. You just and put them in a envelope. box with bubble wrap and tape that shit up. It's not hard. Yeah, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> FedEx normally does it for you. Yeah. You're so expecting a service. FedEx. That they don't offer is what you're F, expecting. F for joy. F that dude. All right. No, I, <laughs> I troll. I trolled the lady on my flight from Vegas to, to Atlanta because she kept she kept staring at me. She's an older lady. I get it. Whatever. She don't see too many black people. So yeah. I'm on one of the biggest planes I've ever been on in my life. Well, from Vegas to Atlanta, I guess because it's cross country. Like it's like double one of the decker. Like. No, one of the three row ones, like three rows oh, in the yeah. middle, three rows on the left, three rows on the right. Seven, mm -hmm. seven, maybe. So they have the so they have the TVs on the back of the seat. Yeah. And so she kept she kept staring at me, dude. So I, I put on I put on Malcolm X. So she, <laughs> so she, <laughs> Wait, maybe she wanted to do things sexually to you. Have you considered no, dude, that? No, like she was like eighty seven, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe she wanted you to dust it off. She just kept. She was like. I was like, yo, I'm gonna put the, the, we're gonna I'm gonna give you a lesson. You need to watch Malcolm X. Maybe she Maybe. thought you were Houston rapper Bun B. Bun B. Yeah, but Andy I love that. Said. But that was my best experience on a plane. I love that plane. Uh-huh. I've never been on a plane that big. Because really? I've never flown that no. Oh yeah. I'm sure that's the one you're on. Like that was the first time I saw a real first class. Like that looked like that looked like a first class seat that I would like if I'm paying for first class. Yeah, that looked like it is. Now, it wasn't though. I guarantee you that's that not first overseas. class It's better. No, but it wasn't those really, really nice ones where you got like flat. this, like a yeah, there wasn't that, but yeah, it was yeah. like a nice first class. You know what that's I mean? Cool. Like, that's shit. Cool. What airline? Have you, what airline have you been flying? Well, Southwest doesn't go to fucking Valdosta, so I booked it through Delta. Oh, you had to book it? They're paying well, they for it, do. obviously. Right, right. There you go. Okay, cool. Delta. Don't don't even leave the airport. Is that what they used to say about Delta? No, now they're much better. United's the one who's in the shitter these days. Yeah, United's got problems. Mm. All right, boys. Anyway. People I want to punch. Sorry, I'm distracted by what I think might be a fractured orbital bone. By your <laughs> dude, sports I'm injury. <laughs> Mike, I wish I were, be, I, dude. I, dude. I should have made up a. I, I should have lied and made some. She, <laughs> I didn't think y'all to believe me when I told you the story. It's ridiculous. So anyhow, dude, you right. need to go to the doctor, bro. Has your wife hit you in the face with a baseball, and you've decided that that, that enough is enough? Well, call my <laughs> friends at the law offices of Orlando Kell. We're making light because of what happened to me. We're just, baby, we're kidding. <laughs> But if you seriously, Poor she thing. feels she feels bad. I, I see she probably feels worse than I do. Um, it's Orlando Kill, oh, baby. I love you. If you need to call this man, he I was just doing a good segue. Uh, you need to call Orlando, <laughs> my man. Yeah, he knows that if you're going through a divorce situation, it's probably the worst thing you've ever done, gone through, or one of the worst. So. At least you can go to a Thunderdumber who's a pro who can get you through it, especially you fellas. And as we know, fellas often find themselves behind the eight balls in these matters, especially when kids are involved. The law office of Orlando Kill is your man. Call him, 210-775-4995. Or you can email him directly. He is at orlandokelllaw at gmail.com, orlandokelllaw at gmail.com. All right. We need to make some announcements here. Yeah, and we this do. Is so cool. I almost feel like we should do this on different days. Like give one guy their due. But I'm just so happy because and nah, I'm we serious. Need to do like I was uh, I was going to I'm I'm not going to get emotional, you know, but you know, this show we're struggling. We're doing what we can. We're doing fine. <laughs> it's only been 3 months, dude. It's I know. Been three Actually, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. We're kicking ass. I'm trying to be humble. Yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, okay, well, guess what? Because of course, I I, I I'm trying to be a humble guy, but it ain't working. You know what? Fuck it. We we some badass motherfuckers. I and mean, we knew we knew when we decided to do this little threesome right here. You know, ooh. maybe maybe y'all been in threesomes, but this fucking threesome right here is Kingpin threesome. This is this triumvirate. 
two this trips right here, at the same time, man. This is Tim and Tony and Manu shit. This is KG, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen shit. This is Kobe Shaq and I don't want to say Derek Fox's name around you here. Say Phil, you say Phil Jackson. Yeah, this is Phil. This is Phil Jackson and Shaq and Kobe shit. This is we, Tim Tony. This is Mike. show 51, by the way. We, we didn't have any fanfare for show 50, but this is 51. Well, because oh, for, you shit. know what? We I didn't got do my it head Because I was out of town. Fuck. Yeah, it's okay. And I got my head down. Yeah, this is episode 51. Yep. I've just That's got my head got down. That's why you got a black eye because you got I the know. head down. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh. I may need more ibuprofen. Shit, dude. I think I may have to go in tomorrow just to have him. You better. I don't that shit's any, broken, dude. Dude, I don't, have any, I don't have any medical insurance. Just go in and get Where the do shit done and don't pay. You Where don't do you pay. Do? That's what real like Americans a, do. Is there a county you go hospital? Get the, you go get the work done and then you don't pay the bill. That's what we all do. Like, what? <laughs> What the fuck? Give, give Where does the call? I should call Doc. That's a good. See that's if actually you can get an intern. To, you know what? I'm gonna text out. Doc Garrett. Where does the, where does uh, where does one go in uh, San Antonio? I go what, to the Texas that? Med Clinic and and don't pay. Oh, like the little walk-in thing? Yeah, yeah I, just, I need an X-ray. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure I need an X-ray. I'm trying. I, this actually really fucking hurts. I'm just trying to be tough for the show, dude. Um. Dude, if you would have sent me a screenshot and said, "Dude, I think I broke my orbital bone," we didn't have to do the show. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a common injury in uh, basketball. Guys get elbows and shit. Yeah, she See, hit this me. is what I'm impressed that she threw so hard. She's a little tiny gal, you know. She you gotta have to learn, brush. bro. She Mike, I'm here to tell you, bro. You you're going to the barbecue like that. You got to wear shades. <laughs> That's just well, not healing by God. Saturday. So ridiculous. Because you got it's so and tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up and the eyes gonna be closed shut. So you're gonna be to keep ice on it tonight. Hey yeah. Siri. What do I do if I think mm. I may have fractured my orbital bone? If you think it could be serious, ask me to call emergency services. <laughs> no, no, we're not the calling worst thing emergency. you can do is to look it up on the internet, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, don't do that. I put ice on. I've been icing it to help the swelling, but it damn sure didn't help the colorization. God, yeah. Mike, damn, you dude, I ice it every night. How, yeah, I didn't realize how white you were until now, dude. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever been hit in the face with something hard, like a elbow or a fist or ball? So I got yeah, hit. The last time I got, I've been last, I've been punched. I've had a dude nodded my head up at a basketball fight. Oh, like, he put damn. two not yeah, put two oh, knots on my head. head. Bing, bing. Yeah, he got me. I got a big. I've had I've had knots on my my forehead, but the last time I got hit this hard in the face, with, God, I was <clears throat> I think I was in as in the ninth grade. I was probably I was probably Mike Taylor freshman second base, and I was playing second base. And there was a we were pra- it was at practice. I never forget it. There was a ground ball. The third baseman Randy Crameen was his name. What's up, Randy Crameen? I went running to second base to we had to, we were going to turn two. And I just he so he had a fucking cannon. He's a third baseman, uh, smart kid too. He wound up with a full full sco- academic scholarship, the Plan Two program at UT. Smart young man, but he had a cannon. So ground ball to third. I went to cover to take the th- relay to throw the relay to first, and I just he just fired it, and I lost the fucking ball in the sun or something. Ooh. Next thing I know, I'm on I'm on the ground like I dropped to my knees. It pow. He caught me right in. It was the right eye. And I'm not shitting you. I had, it was so bad. Like it was actually this colorization was like a, was a circle yeah. And for like two weeks. I had, you can see the, in, you can two see weeks. the, you can see I had little, I had little purple X's like this on my face. It was, it was the threads of the baseball. Cause it oh, hit me. Shit. The threads of the ball <laughs> caused little X indentions in my fucking eye. This, I think That's it awesome. didn't catch me on the threads. Thank God. Or I'd have, freaking thread prints on my face now it caught me like i guess the the, the white part of the ball caught me flush and yeah dude right what here, a, that what ball hurts man. it's very sore but we have announcements to make that's why i want to i don't want to let's make, do it i don't want to undersell motherfucker playing hurt baby <clears throat> here we go a couple of announcements we got let's two go new sponsors on in the building 
They're like, great. Our first show with Taylor and he's got a busted eye. It's, it's ridiculous. What? We have not one, not one, but two new sponsors. I want to welcome the official, the new official real estate agent of in the building. It is Jay Rabaldo with Rabaldo Realty. Okay. Uh, that's Jay. What's up, Jay? Yeah, what up, Jay? LG, he's a fine Filipino. What do you think about that? <laughs> what the hell? You're going to buy a house, <laughs> buy one from a Filipino. We all know that. <laughs> if you're going to sell a house, sell a house with the help of a fine Filipino. I have never met a Filipino that I did not like. And I am not kidding that about that. They're, they're great folks. I met a lot of Filipinos living in the hellscape in Hawaii. And they're all just great fun. We got, we got Filipino thunder dumbers. Shout out to our Filipino thunder dumbers. And, and you know who you are watching this from outside of Salt Lake city, Utah. Y'all know who y'all are. What's up? It is Rivaldo realty group, the official real estate agent of in the building for the next foreseeable future until he gets, he gets tired of our cussing or something. But until then we love him hard. This is our guy right here. He's poodle Thunderdome. He works Uro, for the Uro. Keller Williams City View office, but he is his own man. He is the Ribaldo Realty Group. If you are in need of maybe getting an estimate on your home, maybe you're maybe you're thinking about selling one. Maybe you're thinking about buying one. Maybe you're thinking about doing both. Maybe sell your current house and buy a new one. Here's the dude right here that I highly recommend with that Dallas Cowboy colored suit on, because of course. <laughs> Raised in San Antonio, cowboy oh, fan, dude. Don't even act like that suit's not on purpose. That he <laughs> cow, cowboy, cowboy fan. <laughs> Thank you to Jay Ribaldo, the official real estate agent of In the Building. This is my dude. Two one zero eight eight seven ten eighty one. Ribaldo, R E B A L D O R E Baldo, Jay Ribaldo, MBA two one zero eight eight seven ten eighty one. You can email him directly. He dug that how we like Orlando. You can, you can email Orlando directly. He wants you to email him straight away. It is Jay Ribaldo, the letter J in Ribaldo at KW.com. The official real estate agent of in the building, our honor to serve your family. He's Poodle San Antonio, and he wants to help you. If you need a real estate agent, this is our guy. You'll be hearing a lot more from about Jay as the weeks and months come and go. All right. So thank you, Jay. Thank you. We cannot do this stuff. Without these supporters, we could, Thank but we, we could, but it would be on our own, it would be on our own dime. And that ain't, why would I do that? And so you'll be hearing a lot about Jay as the weeks go by. As I said, the other big announcement, our second supporter, and this one right here, this is, this is pretty cool, man. So this is, this is a bar that I think everybody in town's aware of most, if, if, unless you don't just don't ever go to bars. If you ever go to bars, pretty much everybody in this city is aware of the Slacker Sports Bar. Um, bars. I mean, empire. Bars. It's yes, I'm saying there, it's an empire. There are five of them. We would like to announce that starting today, I'm trying to be excited with my black eye, starting you today, the new studio sponsor. I've been in yes. the building on Love You Hard TV, TV with me and Rudy and DJ LG. It's Slacker Sports Drinks and Games. There are five locations all over San Antonio, Texas. This I'm very excited to be a part of. It's a great place. I've been to three of the five locations. Actually, I've been to four now that I think about it. I've not been to the one on St. Mary's, and now I've got no excuse. I've got to get down there and see it. Um, one of the first dates that Dina and I ever went on when we first started talking was to the slackers location in the medical center. And it's wow. pretty cool. It's, it's, it means a lot to me. One of our first, it wasn't our very first date, but it was one of our first three or four when we were just kind of, you know, getting, you know, really talking slackers in the medical center is where we went. And I thought this girl can play pool. This girl can throw darts. All right, then she and throw baseballs. That and well, <laughs> And throw baseballs. <laughs> Didn't know that night, but I damn sure know today, don't I? God almighty. Uh, so going forth for the foreseeable future, thank you so much to Slackers, all five of them. They are the new studio home of In the Building here on Love You Hard TV. 
honestly, man, I mean, Rudy and I could do shows for fun, but we got families and LG's got bills too. And he's got a family too. That doggo in there, that's his family. And if we're going to take <laughs> care of these families we've got, then damn it, we're going to have to have support. And I get emotional when we announce these new sponsors, man. I want to thank a guy called Wally. Uh, I want to thank a guy called Frank. I want to thank a guy called Mikey. And I want to thank a guy called Rudy J who used his contacts with these guys to get me connected with them. I had never met any of the guys at slackers and I believe me all those years on the ticket, I was well aware of the things that y'all were doing over there at alpha with slackers and stuff and how, how big time y'all, you know, th this, this all appear, it all was. And I mean, there was envy, no doubt. And so for, for me to be sitting here and I'm, I'm emotional cause I'm hurt and I'm taking a lot of pills and I've been drinking. I can't, I can't cry twice in three days. I cried the other day over the book. <laughs> oh yeah. We, guys. I mean, I, seriously, you know, people Get ask about how long you, you guys are kicking ass. You guys are doing so great. We love the fact that, you know, you and Rudy are meant to be together. I've, I've heard so many great things from Thunderdomers, but we cannot, there's, there, there are three important mechanisms that'll keep this show going. Us, the host, you, the listener, Thunderdome and our supporters this thing cannot happen without any of those three it's a 33 33 33 split and if we don't have that 33 percent that is our support system companies and people in this town like jay robaldo um like orlando kell like the sing ridley family at, at texas cheer liquor and like our new friends with slackers it's you sing, cannot motherfucker. you cannot do these shows without support um yeah, and, and, uh, and pay your bills man ahead. rudy thank you dude thank you man this is so great for teamwork me this is awesome yeah teamwork make the dream work lg i gotta find a way to we gotta get some stuff from slackers to kind of decorate the studio with i'm gonna get with yeah, frank. i'm gonna get with frank this week to kind of uh, soup, soup the studio but no um yeah we'll get so when i was over that. yeah yeah so when i was over at alpha they frank it was frank's idea hey Rudy's birthday's coming up. Why don't we do his birthday at Slackadoches, which is the Nacadoches location. And I've, I've done two. And they were huge successes. So, yeah, I mean, and there's other stuff that we that I've done with Frank, you know, to, on the side, you know, whether it be hosting shows or whatever. So shout out to Frank, Mikey, and Wally, man. Was, when we got some cool stuff coming up. The first being the 420 slash crawfish boil at the medical center that's going to be on the saturday 420 <laughs> 420 of course saturday I'm going to be at the medical medical center location yes doing sir yearly yeah. thing which is a big deal they i think last year they did had 600 people come through the door wow so get, that'll get be, stoned so, and eat a bunch of mud bugs i'm yeah, high so so now with thunderdome on top of what they already bring y'all aren't going to want to miss that event i promise yeah you. man you sure. So there's really, it's three big announcements today. Um, that a, we have Rivaldo realty as our latest is our new real estate agent. We have slackers is our, the official sports bar and our new studio home. Every time you hear us reference our studio, which obviously we're traveling, Rudy's traveling and, and it's cool. It's, we'll, I'm we'll in the get, slacker studio. Shit. You are, I am too. So is LG, no matter where we yeah. do our show, it is always going to be where. now. At least for the next, at least for the rest of the year, for sure, all of our shows will be done from the Slacker Studio. And again, dude, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate that, man, for you using those contacts to get us in, in, in tune with those guys. And we went in there and we, we've we've had a couple of meetings with them over the last few weeks and went well. And as Rudy mentioned, they got a big four twenty show, so you're gonna get in a you're gonna get. Uh, a, a special edition of in the building on Saturday, April the 20th. We need to work out times and we'll all work that out stuff. the time. We'll work out the time. We'll, we'll get, I'll have that before the end of the week, but just if, if you're looking for something to do on four 20, this four 20, what is today? The first, so 20 days, 19 days. Oh shit! It's already April 1st. Gosh, yep. damn. Three April weeks. Out, dude, this, this year April is flying 20th. by dude. We're a dude. quarter in. Welcome to getting old, man. You, the yep. older you get, the quicker it goes, dude. Yeah, I know. We're a quarter in already. And again, you know, if, look, people ask about, or I was thinking, saying this earlier, people ask about, you know, our, they love you. You guys are so great together. You all the best podcast. I don't even listen to radio anymore, blah, blah, blah. And I love all that. Um, 
but we cannot make this stuff go down without these without this support. So to have slackers on board is super kick ass. And yeah, I mean, you know, when people ask about what's it like to do the podcast. It's fun, but I tell people all the time this podcast. I guess I'm I guess I'm I'm giving my testimony here. This podcast is this actual show is ten percent of this job. Yeah, That's it. Five. Shit. Yeah, maybe five. Some days, ninety percent of this job is not. It's about the show, <clears throat> but ninety percent of this job is not the actual show. You know, I we do it for the the show is the reason we do what we do. But um, so I'm just I'm grateful to my boys at Slackers and they'll they and I don't blame them either. I mean, wouldn't you want to support the best fucking podcast in South Texas? I know I would. And Slackers, is Slackers yeah, and they so helped. Important. It helped that they already knew you. Obviously. Well, and that's great. That's fine. And I, but that, admit, but hey, and LG uh, goes every damn week. LG goes once a week. They know. Yeah, I, I, I we've been, we've been, and I drank a little too much, dude. <laughs> you've been going a lot lately. You've been going I'm one on watch the the Yankees and Astros game with oh, the captain. Oh yeah, right on, man. I can't drink bullshit. with that captain. I'm telling you, hey, he he likes to drink some, shots and shots. Well, he Espelon. outweighs you by 200 pounds. Yeah, that's you can't true. Keep up with him, uh, but maybe like three. Hey, what, Rudy? There's some, there's somebody over there. <laughs> the only reason why my brother go to a bar that many times is something something over there that he likes. You get in a better mood. Yeah, yeah, I have to admit. <laughs> no, I'm there was a the couple of weeks good over there, but there were a couple of weeks. <laughs> Which one? Thousand Oaks. Down. Yeah, yeah, Thousand Oaks is the one I go to. Yeah. There were a couple of weeks where he was a little stressed out. I'm like, what's going on, man? You need some help with your light bill? All, all of a sudden, lately he's been at Slackers a lot, and he's, his mood has gotten better. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. Slackers okay. is great and all, but I'm, <laughs> I'm still a grump. <laughs> oh, yeah, but not, 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 not like usual. Not like but it's usual. nice right, to, so. you know, get some of the money back that I've, that I've been putting in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is nice. <laughs> <laughs> might take four Hell months yeah, to LG. catch up. Yeah, that's yeah, great. No, that's it. So, we'll, so look, I've got, I've, got barbecue, I've got barbecue Saturday, and I want to. I'm gonna spend yeah. this week. Come, I'm gonna spend the rest of this week really hyping the barbecue. But on Monday, we're gonna be balls deep on promoting this slacker yeah. show. Yeah. Shout so, out to yeah. Rosemary and Mel <laughs> and Jay over there at T Oaks. Good bartenders. Oh, okay. Oh. Rosemary and Jay and who? And Mel. Uh, and mail can't forget good mail. Okay, very good. So thank you, man. That's there's our that was the two big announcements uh, that I was gonna start to show off with today. But uh, do y'all remember happened. the uh, the Steve Harvey comedy skit he did about Mike Green when Mike Tyson punched him? Mike Tyson punched this dude named uh, Mitchell Green in the eye, and Fill the me thing in. was like, and Steve Harvey did a whole segment talking like as the eye. <laughs> I feel like that's <laughs> good. No, dude, I've like not my, seen that, I but I have like a feeling Mike, I'm going to look it I up. I feel like Mike's eye is, is talking to me. <laughs> it's like it's its own thing. I'm going to, okay, God, dude. You're going to feel bad. Hey, it's out of love. You, a, it's out of love. Tomorrow, when love. I tell you I have a fractured orbital bone, you're going to feel I know. bad about it. I feel bad for you and Nina because I know she's distraught. She feels, I know she's she hurt. And that's the thing. I'm trying to like, I mean, it hurts, but I'm trying to, it's, I'm not going to die. It's going to be fine, baby. It's, and she's worried about the barbecue. She's like, I'm so sorry. Cause, uh, cause those pictures will last forever. Dude, this, but this is the thing you're going to forever remember the 2024. This is, God. this is great for us. You should, this is great for sure. like, you should show up in one of those like rip Hamilton masks at the barbecue. <laughs> oh, Yo, oh yeah. Should, like, hey, nose. LG, that's God. a great bit. <laughs> hey, yeah, I man. Mean, you should do idea. that. I've been wondering what I should do. God almighty, dude. Or just what get the biggest pair of sunglasses you can find. I got big, huge, like Jackie Onassis. Yeah, Kennedy. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> God. All right, where do we go from here? Let's jump the, oh, I need to, we need a congratulations is in order. Yeah, you know how that? the fuck did LG win? How? how? He's already you know, clinched the championship. How? How? Explain. Well, let's see. Because it's you my, and I don't you know. know what the hell we're doing. That's hell. Let's see. Because I know everything about the NCAA tournament. Damn, sure. Uh, He's the Jay Billis of South dude. Texas. Exactly. Congratulations NC to DJ LG, who has won the 2024 in the building NCAA tournament bracket challenge Bullshit. of 2024. He don't even have a team in the final four. 
Yes, he does. Well, no, he doesn't. He does not. But you were so far behind. There was nothing. So let's update the score. So Duke got beat. LG's out of points, and you're stuck at you're stuck on 55 points. LG uh, Rudy had 52 points going into the weekend, and uh, got UConn. Okay, Steve, which, which is huh? I had you had UConn. UConn, yeah, which is good. That's a four point win. So you go to 52 points, but you're sna- you're now out of teams because you had you had North Carolina and Marquette in the final. Oh. LG has 55 points. You finished with 52. You're out of points. LG's out of points. <laughs> and then my ass, I got nobody in the final four. Thanks to Houston getting beat. And uh thanks to Creighton getting beat. Had Houston and Creighton both won and gotten to the final four, I would have won, but that didn't happen. So we're like all three of us are out of points. <laughs> Nobody, that's it. Because you had UConn in the final four, but you don't have them. You had them losing in the. You don't final. have them winning, right? So what what do you think about this tournament so far? I, it's been ridiculous, and I, I I blame myself for not watching basketball all year. UConn is so far and away the best team. They're like the ninety two UNL, like the ninety one UNLV team. Ooh. They are going to beat the I like shit. That. Out of Bama, out of Alabama, and then they're going to beat the shit out of Purdue. They're they're kicking Alabama. everybody's ass. They beat everybody by What's, twenty. This is the thing. That's eight nine wins in a row going back to last year, and none of them have been close. All like double that, none of these games. This is going back to last season when they were won the title. None of these games are close, dude. They're so far better than everybody else. I have no idea. I guess I was just like, ah, no one goes back to back in 2024. You know what I mean? Never. Yeah, right. But I, but, but, again, but with Bama, Purdue, and NC State left, and NC State, who knew that ACC tournament run was real? I guess I it was real. I put them in the Elite Eight. I, I put them in the Elite Eight, but I had them losing. Yeah. Well, that's but, the only thing yeah. I did that was worth the shit. All my other picks were horrible this year. So you and I got to pay something off. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, we need to figure that out like this week. Look, uh, LG, now yeah, we, like, I, oh, yeah, I had an idea, out. but <laughs> now that you got that black guy, I, I think I'm going to hold back on that right now. I was going <laughs> to say, your idea? I was going to say, you need to rock the Marbach mop at the barbecue, and Whoa. Rudy needs to lose the beard completely. He ain't doing that. Or co- or or come with some 1970s black man mutton chops. Ooh. What's that? What's that? The big giant I, sideburns, mutton chops. You you shave like oh. this part here. You shave everything, but right leave here. the side. But no mustache though, just the chops. I can't. I let me that finish would be this. Cool. Will, let me finish filming and I'll do it. <laughs> oh my. Wait, when do you, wait a minute. So after but you now, get back from Georgia, when do you get to go back? When's your next assignment? Somewhere in Phoenix, Phoenix. But, but when is like it? In, uh, when is it? Late late April. See, but I'm not. Won't have, but I won't said, have grown back. I won't then. be. I'm not finished. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Not exactly. I can't. Yeah, do you that. can't not change yet. it in the middle of a TV season because nah, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> a continuity error right there. <laughs> right, I couldn't do it. But the I can Mar- do something. I'm. I'm a. Uh, the I'm a, Mar- 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 with that black guy would look good. Oh my god, I look like a. I look like the mug shot of like a guy gets arrested and you tell the cops have kicked his ass. They show us much shot. He's all beaten up. This is ridiculous, dude. It's, this is I've never had. I've had shiners. That's been years, years, but not like where this. Like, is that because of my age? Like, do you like because my blood's thinner? Because I'm getting older. I don't well, you, know. Your skin does bruise easier the older you get. Oh my god, it's true. Uh, but I know you're right. But I'm not like eighty. I know, but Jesus. it's true. <laughs> fucking but, dude. We need to get a speed gun on Nita's fastball. We were that problem was she was only like twenty feet away, so she just hung it. yo. I was I kept telling her throw a heart, throw a heart. I was giving her shit like calling her pussy, throw a heart, pussy, and she's like, okay, fine, dude. So she was uh, hammering it in there, and I'm like, oh, what's up, neighbor? Plot, God, what an ass. Is it over? What did the na- hey? Oh yeah, she, oh, she can throw it, man. <laughs> what did the neighbor say? He, he was like, run what, are you? It was so weird. Are you okay? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I played it off. He's like, okay. And he went inside his, cause he had like, he had a couple of bags of groceries. Yeah. So he's like, I'm, I'm fine. It's funny. Ha ha ha. And I'm like, baby, wait a minute. This she, she felt, she's like, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, no, no. Cause she got freaked out. 
And I'm like, no, no, guys, I'm okay. I'm fine. It's okay. It's funny. Ha ha. I'm laughing it off. Then we get in the house and I'm just like, I'm like, okay, give me some ice, you know? So I put some ice on it and I'm like, wait a minute. This, this really actually hurts. Like actually hurts, hurts. It looks, I look ridiculous. And I'm also sunburned My. too, but doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't know if you were. We went hiking all weekend, and I got drunk. No, I you went, we went hiking again. Yeah, we hike every weekend. It's our thing. Uh, well, I, and we went. We went Friday afternoon because the sun was shining bright. Friday, and so we went out, and I didn't put any sunblock on because I haven't put sunblock on in months because of the winter. And this is what happens Dude. to a white boy. It's ridiculous. Well, the weather in Vegas was trash. Mm. Trash. You'll get rained. Rain, freezing, it was bad. Oh, that sucks. And y'all had yeah, the kids here, so y'all didn't, y'all couldn't go to the library this week. <laughs> oh, so even <laughs> though the pool was cold, you wouldn't have been able to enjoy it anyway with uh, the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Or, uh, <laughs> no, y'all went to a strip club in Houston called the Library or something like that. Yeah, the hidden, the, the hidden alternative club. Yeah. We went to one last night. We went to one last night called Honey, Honey something. Honey Ooh. Hole. I saw your wife post Ooh. about that. The <laughs> Honey Hole. <laughs> yeah, she just sent me a friend request on Facebook. Oh, like, that's yeah. Damn time. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Anna. <laughs> Shout out to yeah, Anna. Anna. You do Hang have on, a my, place. Well, my kid's calling. Should I show my kid my black eye? <laughs> yes. Hey, can I, I got to call you back. I'm recording a show. Look. Okay, I'll give you a call back in a little bit. I got hit with a baseball. I got, yeah, me and Nina were playing catch, and I got hit with a baseball. You're close up. It looks even worse. What's up, MJ? All right, I'll call you guys back. I love you. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. All the kids are freaked out. Crap. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. And then you got a uh, LG doing your close up right now. LG, this is the thumbnail, by the way. We're gonna get this. Gonna be a high rated show. When I'm we, like a when hockey we, player. When uh, we uh, twi- when we tease this show, look, look at the give camera. Us the and then give me a thumbs, thumbs up or something. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's you, good. No, turn your face. Turn your face. Give it no way. to the black eyes. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Hold on. Let me yes. let me screenshot that. Yeah, Hurry screenshot up, that. LG. How do I screenshot this? Let me get, I'll get one too. Save photo. Oh. There we go. Got right. it. Photo saved. Yeah, okay. God almighty. That, dude, <laughs> right. this is going to, we got a major show announcements and Mike's black eye. This is going to get so 5,000 no. views. This is going to get 5,000 so views. So ridiculous. Hey, let us use you for the betterment of in the building. <laughs> you know, you can get some concealer, but tomorrow, you know, the swelling is going to happen tomorrow. She so. tried yeah. to put stuff on earlier, buddy. But yeah, it hurt too bad. Like yeah. her little sponge thing. Mm-hmm. She was putting, I'm like, baby, just whatever. It's, well, and it's probably and so bad. Dark. Her concealer is probably too dark for your skin. So right. You need, she's you need to go get a match. Skin. I need to get like some white, some white girl makeup. Yeah. Yes. And I would, I would, it's going to be uncomfortable, but I'd sleep with my head. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm trying to figure above out the heart, uh, above fudge. the heart. Above the heart. Like kind of like sitting up almost. I'd sleep sitting up to the blood because if you sleep like this, that blood's gonna come rushing. So you gotta yeah, try to sleep. That's above. all blood you to sleep the skin. Above the, um, yeah, you gotta golly. sleep above the heart. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass whip, man! All right, so I've I've fulfilled all my live spot duties. What else before no, we get the hell out of? I, no, no, you, you didn't haven't. Get oh no, I haven't. I have not. All right, so let's get into let's do an ex- all right, let's do the next couple of topics brought to you by the official liquor store. Thank you very much. Or cigar store. I've been in the building, Texas Cheer Liquor. All right. So I hadn't seen this. I was probably having concussion, so I maybe I missed this story, Rudy. What's up? Apparently a Duke men's basketball player has an NIL deal with a beauty and nail salon. Is that right? Fill me in on that. Yeah, McCain, he's their star. Well, he just dropped 30 in the game they lost to NC State. He is their star. Uh-huh. But a while back, he posted a video, and his nails were painted blue. And, you know, us old men, boomers, Gen Z, wow, these kids, why do they paint their nails? Well, a beauty and nail salon handed them probably six-figure money. 
I see it all he the says, time you know, with dudes. Dude, I, I mean, these kids paint their nails. I mean, it ain't me. I'm not going to do it, but whatever. Hell, Dwayne Wade, a lot of guys paint their nails nowadays. It's D Wade it's, does? They're different. Yeah, True D Wade story. paints his nails. True story. So I've told you the story. I saw Kobe Bryant's first start ever in like 96, no. 97. You never told me that. You never oh, told cool. me that. I was, that's no. all I was like trying to think. No, you never told me that. So it wasn't his first game, his first start. So in, I'm, I want to say 96, 97. I was going to North Texas, UNT, and mm -hmm. I went to the Ma I wanted to go to the Mavs Lakers. Where it was Lakers Mavs at the old Reunion Arena that doesn't exist anymore. And that night, Dale Harris announced that Kobe Bryant was going to start. So there was a big buzz because the Lakers were in town anyway. But Kobe Bryant, this rookie, was going to start that night against Dallas. And so I was there in person for Kobe's first ever start in the Amazing. NBA. Amazing. It's an amazing Dude. story. And amazing. the funny part about that is, and I can tell you the whole Kobe night, but so we're going to the, I went to the Lakers locker. I was working for, I was working for something called USA radio network. I was a stringer okay. and they didn't give two craps about the Mavericks. They wanted me to go cover Kobe's first start. I was just a stringer. Sure. Remember that word back in the day when yeah. I used to stream. And I was in the Lakers locker room, and I'll never forget Shaquille O'Neal walked into the room, and they were asking Shaq. And I can tell you, quote what Shaq even said about Kobe's start, but where this is relevant to your story about the Duke player is, so in comes Shaq, and I'm just like, good God, that's a human being. I, I've never been next to I'm, To this day, I've never stood next to a person. Even Wimby was, I mean, to, to Shaq's just He's what the Greek gods used to turn into statues. But anyway, I'll never forget. Shaq walks in. He's got shorts on, a T-shirt, and he's bare feet. Every single one of Shaq's toenails was painted a different color. Every single one of them. But probably his daughter. That's what I remember the most. You know, he had just played a genie in a movie. And Shazam. he was rolling. Shazam. 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 Yeah, and he was rolling with that. He was rolling with that a bit, and he had painted all of his nails. So, yes, these kids today like to paint their nails. But for the record, Shaq's been painting his toenails since '96. <laughs> Don, Dennis and, and Dennis Rodman too. Oh my God! Well, Dennis, is, you know, Dennis is too, a rare so, bird. Yeah, well, the kid he turned it into a probably a six figure nil deal, and it's funny. He's like the only people that get mad at me are the old men. Because it's all the old men in my comments, like, you know. Yeah. So I thought that was funny. I thought that was cool. The other night, speaking of Texas. Even though they Lakers, eliminated. What I, had a couple, I had a couple come into the store the other night and bought some booze from me. behind. The, and uh, I was working the counter. And I'm not kidding you. He was probably 60-something years old, right? Mm -hmm. And he comes in there, and he's holding hands with his wife. And she's in her 60s, this old couple, sweet little couple. They came in there, got some Tito's vodka or whatever. They come up to the counter, and they're holding hands. And so he goes to get his wallet out to pay, and I noticed that his hands, his fingernails were painted. This so old strange. man. They were so painted. Strange. They were painted blue. I'm not Bl kidding. Blue? Yeah, but he's with a lady. You know, it's just what they're holding hands. That's just, he has yeah, a wedding I ring on. No, I so, don't think it means they're gay. It's just weird. No, I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, I think these kids have like even got old folks like, eh, fuck it, I'm gonna paint my nails too. It's fine, you know. I don't know I what we're afraid of. That. Kids today, and I'm with you. I ain't painting my nails neither. I don't find it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not doing it. But I would never. But I will tell. You, I've. I'll tell you. Okay, full th full curtain. I let my two oldest kids uh, paint my two pinky nails one time. I was with my two oldest. It was my, it was daddy weekend. They were teenagers and we went to Ulta, I think, or something. One of these oh, makeup stores. yeah. Ulta. Yeah. And they both got their hands done. They got their nails done and daddy got his pinkies done. And they thought it was the coolest thing. And we took pictures and everything. I didn't care. I'm a married ass man. I got kids. These, I would, these kids today, that's just what gives me hope for the future when it comes to and in the last few years, there's been a real crackdown on a lot of folks in the LGBTQ plus community. The more heterosexual people act gay, <laughs> I'm serious. 
the the better we're going to be as a society because it shows acceptance. Do you know today is na- today is International Transgender Awareness Day? You know, I didn't know that. Yeah. So the more the more straight men act gay, the better for society. So shout out to that old man who came into Texas here. Then homeboy had his nails painted. Who knows? Maybe he has a daughter who's a lesbian. Maybe he has a gay son. Maybe he just likes blue nails. But he's with his wife of God knows how many years. These young kids, say what you will about kids today, these damn kids today and their cell phone, they are disarming the homophobia and transphobia in this country. And I I have proof that they're disarmed. I have proof that things are getting better. You know how? Look at all these laws that that are being passed across the country now to thwart the movement and the progression of that community. Because that community is progressing and you're not going to progress without pushback. And so that's a sign that things are progressing. We didn't have any laws getting passed in the nineties when you and I were in high school, because there was no demand for it. There was no, there were folks were still in the closet. People weren't out like they are now. And now they're like, F you, I'm who I am. I'm out. And so what happens? The, the homophobes and the transphobes, they're fighting back. That's a sign of progress. You cannot have Amen. progress without the pushback. And so when I you know, so you know what? Good for the kid from Duke. What's his name? McCain. McCain. Is he gay? Yeah. No. Okay. I don't know. Shit. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I, mean, I wouldn't do it, but I'm, you know, I just, that's my thing, but I, I painted my pinky nails for my daughters. So whatever. You better. You good better have. Good you for the would kid do it for an NIL deal. You bet your ass uh, yeah. I would. Yeah, goddamn right. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I answer to slackers now. They want me to paint my nails the color <laughs> of slackers. Tomorrow I will. <laughs> what else today? Oh, how Shout about that weekend Texas that Chilliker. Wimby had? How about that weekend that Wimby had? Ah, uh, thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor. We're going to talk Wimby for a second. We'll get out of here. The official liquor store. I'm in the building. There are seven locations spread out all over San Antonio, Texas, from Bernie all the way to. Dang near up way far west, San Antonio. You got Texas Cheer Liquors all over the place. Stone Oak, Bernie, and all in between, all up and down, 1604, all around the bend. The official liquor store is Texas Cheer Liquor. Thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor. Again, that 33%, this show does not air without you and me and LG. It does not air without Thunderdome, and it damn sure doesn't air without people like Texas Cheer and uh, Rivaldo Realty and Slackers and Orlando Kell. Thank y'all to our partners. Okay. What else? Wimby was a, how about that 40, 20 Wimby threw down the other night? Think about that. And then threw the, and then threw the ball in the stands. Cause I don't know if you yeah. thought that Brunson wanted the 61 ball, but they find him 25 K that ball cost him 25 K. And they, and they, and, and, and they fought like hell against the Warriors too. Lost by two points. You know, yeah, and beat the Knicks in overtime. Shout out to yeah. Wimby, man. 40, and 20 and overtime. seven. That's, 40 and 20 is crazy. Yeah, 40, 20. And again, it's been like, you know, you go look at all the names. It's been like Kareem had a 40, 20. Did David have a 40, 20? I want to say he did. But the kid's 20 years old putting up 40, 20s, man. And even though they got beat by the Warriors on Sunday, they only got beat by a couple of points. This team has showed progress. You know, it's funny because Wimby was maybe remember Wimby said last week we gotta beat we need to beat Memphis. And then we need right. to beat Detroit, the must win game, because he don't he don't he wants to win twenty games. He does not want to have the worst record of all time. The way they're playing, even though they got beat by the Warriors, they've now won three out of four. They had won three straight before the Warriors lost. The way they're playing, they may get to, they may get to twenty. We'll see how the last couple of weeks work out, but they may very well get to twenty. So and, my Spurs. Uh, and, making me feel good going into the we- summer. Before we get out of here, mm-hmm. we got Paige Buker versus Juju Watkins, and we mm. get Angel Reese, and we get Angel Reese Clayton Clark part two from Ooh. last year. Remember that? Yeah. So the women's side is juicy. <clears throat> got some yeah, ball, man. Got some ballers over there. So I'm definitely gonna be- <laughs> Lawrence Emmett Lawrence Goins. <laughs> Fight Don't through that my government keep, name. Keep going. Go. Yo, no, gov- that's it. That's all I got. I just, yo, okay. Yo, and uh, and then uh, of course uh, Don Staley, South Carolina, in their fourth Final Four in a row. Go get them. I just want you know what. So I read the Washington Post piece on Kim Mulkey, and she hated her even more. 
Biatch. No, 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 I don't like her. I've called her names that, and you know what? And to hell with her. That was not a hit piece. It was a look at her family history. Like she's been estranged from her sister for four years. She has not talked to her father in 37 years. Damn. Be- yep. Because he left the, he left their mama for another woman. And Kim Mulkey has cut him off because of that. You would think within 37 years, you might just let, you know, kind of overlook that. Mm-mm. You piss off Kim Mulkey, you're, you're gone. You're, you're done for yeah, They said, yeah, they said she didn't like gay players and she was mean to the fat players. That's yeah, fat. that right. That's, you know, but, but there's a lot of gray area on that. Cause she's had, there's some gay players that played at Baylor for her that will say, no, nah, that's bullshit. These girls want attention. Yeah. I never felt that at all. It's unfortunate. She's a mean ass. She's a, she can be a bitch. She can be a see you next Tuesday. And what else does she do? That woman wins. Win. What's the name of the game? Wins. Now, if she's homophobic, then that's, that's different, but that's bullshit. You play to win the game. She's a winner. That's right. She's a winner. Right. Yeah. I got one more, one more announcement before we go. What? Oh, no God, this hurts. Oh, this hurts so bad. Ah, oh, just itches. Oh, it hurts. Golly, it hurts so bad, dude. It, oh, it like hurts. Feels good to itch it. You know. I was kidding y'all. Ooh. April Fools. I didn't break. I didn't break my eye. You motherfucker. April Fools, motherfuckers. I didn't black my didn't black my eye. <laughs> you motherfucker. That was I fucking had y'all, excellent. man. <laughs> that was excellent. I had y'all. Woo! I God believed it. Man. I did believe uh, it. You got me. Yep. Uh, you got <laughs> you got me there. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. You got me. There's you my black eye. Oh, look, I, I cured it. I wiped. I cured my black eye. Okay, so now yeah, let's man. let's get a Marbach mop for the barbecue. All right. Yeah, well, we got it. I need a payoff, man. That's All a right, payoff. I need to figure something out for Rudy because I was gonna do the mutton chops, but I forgot the TV show. Right. Well, okay, Bro. check it out. So I, I'm in full blown bar- barbecue mode the rest of the week. So on Wednesday, Rudy won't be in town. On Wednesday, remember the barbershop where you got the Marbach mop. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go out to their other location Wednesday to get a haircut, and I'm gonna have tickets. I'm gonna talk about we'll talk more about this on Tuesday show and on Wednesday show. All right, we're let's gonna have another pop up as, as a possibility oh. for the payoff. Let's do it. Okay, very good. All right, that's it. I'm fine. Look at that. I'm fine. You fucker, man. I'm <laughs> you got uh, me. And Nina right. helped out. She I'm did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a yeah. good one. You got All it. Right, you man. sold it. it. You definitely sold you it. Sold that's it. for sure. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Lame. We did a whole show. All right, y'all. Hey, man, get some sleep, man. You're working hard. I appreciate it. I love you hard. Stay love safe. Y'all. I'll see you manana. All right, man. <laughs> Later. All right, y'all. What's up? Thank you to Jay Ribaldo. Thank you to Slackers. Look at that. We got a Thank studio, you, Slackers. studio sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. We're big time. What are they? <laughs> ah, got him. You got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> this program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.